schools welcoming pupils back for the start of term, a warning of renewed financial pressures as budgets shrink and pupil numbers rise. We want to improve your learning in school. This head teacher's and already had to lay off and staff and increase class sizes. And he's worried exam. more cuts are coming his way. So we really benefit. have cut all our services to the bone, okay, and, and we are as efficient as we can be. We cannot make any more savings in terms of curriculum change, courses and, uh, and so on. One saving they may have to consider is a cut to the support the school provides for its most vulnerable pupils. This extra classroom is a sanctuary for the rising number of pupils who can find school life daunting. My year head had suggested it to me to come because I, didn't really, couldn't, I was just kind of by myself at lunch and break. Boys, well done. Keep going. Come on, come on. One in eight pupils at secondary school now have a diagnosable mental illness. Children as young as 11 are arriving at school with anxiety, depression and eating disorders. Some are self-harming. <laughs> Cuts to local authority budgets mean outside help for the children's often difficult to get. So teachers are having to do much more than teach. Some teachers describe themselves now as uh, partly social workers. There's that element of the job comes into it as well. Um, family liaison officers as well. You know, we feel a little bit like that at times, but we do it. One pupil who benefited from the extra help was Diana. Diana's early teens were very troubled and it was the school who provided the help she couldn't find elsewhere. They want to be able to help those children who have been in the same situations as me, have been troubled and need that extra support. They want to be able to help so that everyone gets a fair shot. The Minister for School Standards told me funding in England is increasing. We are spending record amounts of money this year, it goes up again next but they year. They say it's not enough. Well, I, I, yes, and that, and that is a, you know, a concern that we understand. We always fight very hard when we go into the spending review with the Treasury. Despite promises of more investment, teachers say the rising financial pressures could prevent them delivering the help their most vulnerable pupils need. Penny Marshall, ITV News, Sussex.